Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my wardrobe favorites of 2021. I have already covered my bag favorites over the past year, and today I really wanted to focus in on the wardrobe pieces, which I've just really grown to love and rely on and were just the most fantastic additions to my wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being part sponsored by Churches. If you're not familiar with Churches, then they are a luxury footwear brand. If you live in London or have visited, then you will have probably seen their stores dotted around, particularly around the city. They do the most beautiful quality shoes, and these are very much shoes that are built to last. You know, if you get a pair, they will last you for years and years, if not decades. You know, this is completely the opposite of fast fashion, just really, really quality footwear. I believe they started off doing men's footwear and then they expanded it into ladies but they do the most beautiful classic shoes particularly boots as well so they do gorgeous chelsea boots they do biker boots just so many beautiful styles and the quality is absolutely amazing one of my favorites in today's video is from churches i got a pair of chelsea boots from them and they are everything that i dreamed of in terms of just the most quintessentially classic boot just so gorgeous i will leave a link to their online store you can get them online as well as the exact boots i'm going to show but definitely one worth checking out if you want to make an investment in your shoe wardrobe they do the most stunning footwear so first up is a coat pick and I tried really hard to narrow this down because if I wasn't careful I was aware that the whole video could literally just be coats and outerwear I love outerwear and I'm such a huge believer in investing in pieces which you love you'll wear all the time that you can bring back winter after winter I got a few new ones this year and again I really thought hard about which one to include but I ended up going with my one from Reese which I absolutely love it is so, so gorgeous. So this one comes in camel as well. I went for the navy one because I already have a camel coat that I really love, but it is just the perfect fitting coat. It's very slim in the sleeves, which I always really like. It's a nice length as well. And it's just one of those pieces that looks equally good dressed down as it does really, really dressy. You know, it's just a very classically tailored piece, which fits very nicely, not too fussy, just very streamlined, very chic, and just has a really beautiful timeless air about it. I've been wearing mine with my Burberry scarves and I just love it. You know, every time I put it on, I feel like it really just adds to my outfit. It's a really easy way to look pulled together very quickly. And I just think it's fantastic. So huge fan of this. I love pretty much everything about it. And it's just been the best item in addition to my wardrobe this year. Next up are my boots from Churches, and oh my goodness, these are absolutely gorgeous. They are so, so stunning, and I can't remember the last time I was this excited about a pair of ankle boots, but these are just absolutely perfect versions of what they are. So these do come in a few different variations. Mine is in the calf leather, and it has like a slight sheen to it, but these aren't patent leather by any means. So they just look very, very smart and pulled together. I like the fact that they are a tiny bit polished, but not super super shiny so they look very smart very elegant on the foot but they still have like a decent amount of substance and weight to them I love the fact they do have that slightly chunkier sole and then you do have a really great tab right at the ankle so they're very easy to get on and off which is an underrated aspect of ankle boots I feel like sometimes they can look great but they're an absolute nightmare to put on and get off these are so easy they do just slip on there's a decent amount of stretch in this kind of side stretch compartment but not so much that it's going to be out of place or look stretched out at all and these are genuinely just so gorgeous and most crucially as well is that they hit in a really nice flattering place I have tried on so many Chelsea boots this season I know they've become really popular not that they ever really went away but I feel like it's definitely been a trend this winter but so many of the ones I tried have just hit in a really awkward place and they just cut off my leg I've had like a little bit of leg bowl just not things I want for my boots whereas these are the absolute perfect ankle length they are so incredible be comfortable as well the first time I wore these I wore them all day out I think I was in them for like nine hours and there was no breaking in required these are made in Italy and I think that really kind of shows in the leather quality just how comfortable they are and how beautiful the leather feels and looks but I absolutely love these huge huge fan if you haven't checked out their boots I would definitely recommend doing so I've been stalking their site looking at other ones now because I've been so impressed with mine and again I just feel like this is the kind of thing that I'm just gonna have in my wardrobe for years so absolutely gorgeous the perfect quintessential Chelsea boot I've been so thrilled with mine and just think they are the most stunning things 
Next up are straight leg jeans and 2021 is the year that I discovered straight leg jeans and I know it's nothing new in terms of the overall style but in previous years I've just really struggled to find any pairs that I really like and I feel like are flattering especially as I do have slightly wider hips you know I take two sizes bigger on my bottom than I do my top half and a lot of straight leg jeans I just don't feel like are flattering for my kind of body shape. That all changed though when I found my a girl jeans. I love these. I've spoken about them many many times before but I just think these are fantastic and very flattering for such a straight cut. They aren't as comfy as my skinny leg jeans, I'm not gonna lie, that there is very little stretch on them, but nevertheless, I absolutely adore the look and I really feel like they present so many more styling opportunities. I really just like mine with a simple top, like a tank top or a bodysuit, team with heels, and I just love the look of them so much. They are a slightly crop style, but not overly so, and then they do just button up. And again, it's just a kind of straight leg, stiff denim, but I love them like I think they're so great it's very easy to style up in different ways as well and yeah just a huge huge fan of these and then the other pair that I really really love are from Abercrombie and these are a really nice in between if you're used to your skinny jeans but you want to try out the trend these are fantastic because I do feel like they kind of bridge the gap they are very much a straight leg style but they do have a little bit of stretch as well so they're much comfier and so if I know I'm going to be sitting down a lot if I'm going to the movies or anything like that this is what I'm going to wear just because I know that they're going to be incredibly comfortable so these are fantastic they do have a tiny bit of distressing but these also come in a ton of different washes and styles the crucial one here though is to go for the curved love line which has a little bit more stretch so again very flattering if you do have hips but also just very very comfortable in general and I just love these they're also much more affordable than the a-gold versions as well which is always helpful and these have just been the most fantastic buy so if you're easing yourself in or if you just want a really really comfortable pair of straight leg jeans which is still flattering these are a fantastic pick Next up is a cashmere sweater and this was such a great discovery for me. I bought it off the back of reading all the glaring reviews and it 100% lives up to the hype. It's just one of those pieces where as soon as you get it, like, okay, I understand all the reviews now. Like, so unbelievably great. These come in a bunch of different colors. I believe they do bring them back every single year. And this is definitely a splurge one. You know, it really wasn't cheap at all, but it looks to be extremely good quality. It's also a very nice weight as well. So it is a cashmere sweater, but you're getting a lot of cashmere for your money. And I just love it. You know, it fits really beautifully. It is so incredibly soft. You do have this great funnel neck, but it's not overly high or restrictive. So it's not suffocating at all. Like it's just a really nicely designed sweater. And again, just a very, very nice classic piece. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I've worn mine so many times and it looks still as good as new. There is absolutely no piling at all. It's done incredibly well and it's just become one of my absolute favorite sweaters to reach for during winter. So, so great. I would happily have these in every single color. Just such a huge fan of them and so happy I made this discovery. Next up is a scarf pick, and I've spoken quite a few times recently about how much I've been enjoying my scarf, but this is 100% been just such a great addition to my wardrobe. I debated getting it. I do have a few Burberry scarves now, but I just loved how neutral the colorway was, and I feel like the last year has really been the year where I've appreciated how great just like pale colors can be in adding to your wardrobe, just being very, very versatile, and also just brightening up and freshening up any outfit. I've spoken about how much I've been loving my white bags, and it really does extend to so many different items in my wardrobe and this pearl colored Burberry scarf has just been such a dream and such a nice addition to so many of my winter outfits. I love the fact that it can literally go with anything so I don't have to worry about what coat I'm choosing or wearing. It will go with anything I team it with so it's really just a no-brainer. And I love the look, you know, the Burberry scarves never get old for me. I bought my first one many years ago and I wear them every single year and I look forward to getting them every single year. And I just think they're fantastic. So the stone colored one is 100% one of my best buys, just such a favorite for me. I never get tired of them and I've been getting so much use out of mine. And speaking of winter whites, my cropped faux fur jacket from Abercrombie, I love this thing so much and I particularly appreciate it as well because I feel like it was an absolute steal. It feels like much higher quality than the price would otherwise suggest. It is fully lined, a very silky soft lining. The faux fur is so unbelievably soft as well. It is incredibly plush feeling. I also love the cut and the fit of it and I feel like puffer jackets are often difficult to get right. You know, they can be very overwhelming 
overwhelming, just overly bulky and just not very flattering. Because this one has a slightly more cropped fit, it is very flattering, much easier to style it as well and I just love it. It has just been the best buy. I've mostly been wearing mine with skinny jeans and a pair of knee-high boots, but I think it would work really well all glammed up with a dress as well. And just a really nice classic design. You know, it is on trend, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's gonna go out of fashion. I fully expect to be enjoying mine for many years, and I've just been so thrilled with it. So definitely a favorite for me. I've been loving this thing so much. Next up are my Spanx faux leather leggings, and these aren't actually a 2021 purchase, even though I did get another pair in the last year, but I bought these originally many years ago. I think it was maybe three years ago. Love them ever since I got them, but I don't feel like I've ever worn them as much as I have this year. I don't know if it's because they provided a very useful bridge from kind of just lounging clothing, you know, sweatpants and leggings, through to regular clothing. You know, I spent many months literally just in leggings and sweatpants. We're in lockdown for many months especially at the beginning of the year and so these were just a very nice way to kind of bridge into regular outfits but because I tried so many different styling options they really just became part of my weekly wardrobe you know I can't remember a week that went by when I didn't reach for these they are so great and so versatile incredibly comfortable and I'm just a firm believer that everyone should have a pair of these in their wardrobe just a huge huge fan of them I will never get tired of mine and they are just the most useful amazing things Next up, I wanted to mention another accessory, and technically this is a bag accessory, but it isn't actually a bag, but it's my center of chain, and I do have another one of these, which is the long one, but I got this one early in the year, and it has just been the best thing. So this is the bevel chain, I believe, so it's a little bit more intricate than the kind of regular chain, a little bit more dainty, and it is a lot shorter, so really great for making any bags that you have which don't have this kind of strap into a more shoulder bag style. And it's just been the best thing. So I got it with my Aria in the mock croc, but I've used it across so many different bags from my mock croc Aria, my regular Aria, through to my Saint Laurent bags. Like it's just been so unbelievably useful and it is the prettiest chain. It is the perfect shade of gold. It kind of glimmers in a really pretty way without being too much. It is endlessly versatile and I've just been obsessed with it. Like, just the best buy. I've been so thrilled with it. And I really love bag accessories that not only are versatile across several different styles, but also make other bags that you have more versatile as well. And this is that kind of accessory. So would highly recommend. This has just been so useful and just such a great addition to my bag accessory collection. Next up are black tops, and you may be able to tell I'm a big fan of black tops. They are absolutely the foundation of my wardrobe. I have a lot of them at this point, but wherever I see a good one, I pretty much never pass it up because I wear them on a weekly basis, several times a week. You know, I team them with everything from blazers to skirts, you know, they're just a constant go-to for me, and I find them endlessly useful, and again, just the foundational building blocks of my wardrobes and my daily outfits. And I found three really great ones this year at a variety of price points. So first up is this Free People one. This was actually fairly expensive for what it is, which is essentially just a simple tank, but it fits very, very nicely, and is a nice length as well and is also very flattering. I like the fact that it does have a square neckline which does feel just a little bit more fresh and modern. It's also very nice under a blazer because it really does give you that nice clean silhouette and nice clean neckline. And this is just grey. I also have it in white as well and the black one is by far my most used one. But it's just one of those items which I just reached for again and again. Very comfortable, very easy to style and just a very very nice example of what it is. Another favorite, and to be honest, this isn't specific to this exact one, but really representative of the whole category, but Abercrombie bodysuits. I've mentioned these before, but they truly are the most fantastic buy and so unbelievably useful in my wardrobe. Again, this is probably something that I wear pretty much every single week. I have them in a whole bunch of different styles, a whole bunch of different colors. This one is a really nice one because it has a very pretty kind of sweetheart neckline. It's also double layered as well, and this is really, really crucial. So they do a few different styles and I like them all but the double layered ones are the best because they are so flattering they really kind of suck you in and skim they don't cling to anything they do have that added thickness so you can't see bra outlines and they're just fantastic and very very affordable for what they are as well so I would always recommend these I love all of mine I get so much use out of all of mine as well they wash very well as well and they're just generally the best thing. So would definitely recommend pretty much anything from the double layered bodysuit line. This one is great. I also love my other ones. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a great discovery for me this year. 
And then my other favorite black top is a little bit more of a pricey one, but worth mentioning because I've worn this just dozens and dozens of times and it's become pretty much my favorite camisole I think I've ever worn. And that's saying something because I really love my cami NYC ones, but this is just fantastic. I've worn this with, well, everything in my wardrobe pretty much from skirts to jeans, like it's just endlessly versatile. It is 100% silk, but it's very, very simple in its design. So it is just a sweetheart neckline. You do have adjustable straps. It is double layered as well. So again, very nice quality. It washes very well, which is always so crucial when it comes to silk. I also own this in white as well. And these are just really elegant pieces. You know, there's nothing flashy about the design at all, but they go with absolutely everything, are beautiful quality, and they just fit in the most perfect way and are just the most useful thing when it comes to building up outfits. So huge fan of this. They are expensive, but again, I've worn this so many times. I do feel like I got my cost per wear down and I just love these to bits. I would recommend them to anyone. And then last but not least, my Cinco Set blazer in the white. And this style of blazer is nothing new to my wardrobe. I have my black one, which I've owned for, I think now, three or four years. Um, the white one I got at the end of last year though, so this summer was the first chance I really had to use it and I loved it and I really tried to think hard back to the summer what I really loved and used so this wasn't a purely winter centric video and the one thing that kind of stuck out in my mind was this blazer. I absolutely loved it and a white blazer is good all year round but particularly in summer I did get a lot of use out of it. It's just so crisp looking and I've spoken many times about my love for these blazers before. They really are just beautifully made and the perfect fitting blazer. You know, everything from the slightly elevated shoulder to the ruched sleeves, the slightly longer length, it just, it fits in the most perfect way. It's just one of those pieces which is very flattering, very easy to slip on and it instantly elevates your entire look. And this has just been great. You know, I teamed it with everything from jeans to leggings to shorts. Like it's really been endlessly versatile. I love the crisp white color and it's just been the best thing. So I will always be a fan of these blazers, but this white one in particular has just been a really, really great addition to my wardrobe over the past year. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. I'm also now getting started planning all my January content and beyond. So if you do have any video requests for me, please do leave them down below. I will happily add them to my filming list. If you enjoyed the video, please do give this a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.